Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews. I'm your host, Tony. Hey, I'm Jesse. <laughs> and today we're going to be, uh, tonight I should say, we're going to be reviewing Weyerbacher's Old Heathen. It's their Imperial Stout. Coming in at 8% ABV. Uh, I have no clue what the IBUs are. Honestly, I don't care. Don't care at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, um... Oh, let's go ahead and crack into it. Sure. Now we've had a couple other Weyerbachers before and they've they've tended to be some interesting beers. And uh, we've kind of been on the fence as far as they're, they're concerned. Either I'd like them, uh, Jesse and Matt wouldn't like them, or vice versa, or across the board, ew. Mm. But um... This being an Imperial Stout, I'm a uh, Really looking forward to it. Hopefully this turns out to be pretty good. Let's just show the cap. It's uh, nice and purple. Can't really see the lighting in here is really screwed up right now. Um, but yeah, super dark. No light getting through whatsoever. Uh, about a finger's worth of sort of a mocha colored head. Fairly fairly tight bubbles on it. Maybe half a finger. I don't know, I think you put well, yours I, a little bit more aggressive yeah, than I did. Yeah, I was a little more aggressive on mine. Mine's clearing out pretty uh, pretty quickly. But you'll have that. Yeah, my, mine, mine's fading pretty fast too. Um, let's go ahead and get a nose on it. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Got tons of chocolate, little, little hints of, uh, uh, getting tons of coffee, little hints of chocolate in there. That's what I meant to say. It's a bit now. I gotta say, I'm getting over a cold, so so my sniffer and my taster might not be the best for a review tonight. But I'm trying it anyway, I'm getting definitely some alcohol, and is there some hoppiness to it? Uh, something a little I'm get, bit. I'm getting the alcohol. I'm getting a little bit of a a multi sweetness. I'm not getting really any uh, hoppiness. Alright, well. <laughs> well, let's get a taste on it. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. It's got a nice thick mouth feel. Mm -hmm. Um a little bit, a little bit of a, a ting from the bubbles, you know, sort of carbonate like. Oh yeah. Um, not quite as smooth as a lot of imperial stouts are. Um, hmm. <clears throat> yeah, there, there's a kind of harshness from the carbonation. Um, I'm I'm getting some. Some coffee notes in there. Um, I'm not really getting much else. It, it's almost uh, hollow, kind of tasting. You start to get uh, coffee, coffee flavors, and it just kind of goes to nothing. Yeah, um, I was I was afraid to say anything because I was afraid it was my cold. But I'm I'm really not tasting what I like to taste in a in a good imperial. Yeah, um, yeah. That the carbonation is just kind of. It might be. I don't know. It's really bizarre, but um, I start to get a sort of a coffee flavor, and then there's nothing, and then it's kind of a uh, bitter coffee sort of finish. But I mean, I, there's really nothing in the middle whatsoever. It's essentially hollow. Um, I agree. Very very bizarre. Um, yeah, it, the, it it hits. Um, there's coffee, even maybe a little bit of chocolatey, just just in the in the first instant of taste. I mean, kind of nothing until the end, and, and then you just got some bitterness to it. Yeah, I, you know what? I am getting a little bit of dark fruit in the nose now, but um, it's really bizarre. There, there's that harshness from the, from the carbonation. I mean, very, very carbonated uh, Imperial Stout. Mm. I know it's 8%, um, 
I mean, that, that carbonation is just bizarre. It's almost like drinking, um, like, club soda or something. You know, it's yeah. really... I'm not really tasting the alcohol as much as I thought I would from nah, the initial smell. No alcohol the f uh, flavor, no warming uh, even. Mm -mm. This is one of those beers that, even though there wasn't much in the nose, smells a lot better than what it tastes. <laughs> um, yeah. Which is unfortunate. Um, wow. From the other Weyerbachers I've had, I'm not too surprised, really. They've <laughs> they've always just kind of been, yeah. So, you know, and this is another one. It's it's probably my favorite so far from this brewer, but <laughs> that's not saying a lot. Yeah, um, from from what I've heard, their uh, barrel age, their oak barrel aged beers are their best ones. Um, we have the blasphemy, blasphemy, which is their quad, that's uh, been oak aged. That I really really liked. Jesse and Matt didn't care for it much. Um, no, that was the non oak aged one. No, that, right? was, that was the was oak that the oak aged one. That was the oak aged one. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I I really liked it. Uh, they were like, Ugh. I ended up having to finish. Matt's. Uh, Matt's. Uh, I gave I gave Jesse a little bit of Matt's, but I I kind of greedily drank <laughs> most of it because I knew Jesse didn't like it very well either. Um, but yeah, I really liked that one. Um, but I, let's just cut right to it. I'm, well, this has been sitting out for maybe uh, 20 minutes or so before mm -hmm. we started the review, so it should should have developed somewhat um, as as it warmed up at uh, to room temperature. Um, well, I mean it's not room temperature, but you know it getting closer, closer to closer to room temperature. Right. But yeah, I mean it smells way way better and more complex than the uh, than the taste. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, Yeah, cut to chase. Um, it's Imperial Stout, and I love Imperial Stouts. So I hate to do it. I'm gonna have to give it a three out of ten. I mean, it it's got the nose, even though it's a little light on the the aroma, but uh, the flavor just isn't there whatsoever. Um, bizarre hollow thing going on. You get a little bit of coffee up front, nothing. And there's some coffee bitterness in the back, <clears throat> and just very, very harsh uh, harshness from the carbonation. I've I don't think I've ever really had that in a beer before. Um, so bizarre. What do you think? Yeah, um, I'd say I don't know, maybe four, because it is an imperial stout. I'd rather drink this than a handful of other different types of beers. But for for an imperial stout, it's very disappointing. Um, just it's not smooth like it should be. Mm -hmm. Flavors just aren't there. I mean, they're almost there in the beginning, and then there's something more bitter than than anything at the end. And uh, yeah, I say I say four. You know, which which for me on an imperial stout is is pretty horrible. I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, give you a final cheers. I doubt we're gonna chug this, but I mean. Yeah. We may have to just to get through it. But um, we might be back soon with the oak aged version of this. Yeah, we're going to do the heresy here in a few minutes, maybe. Um, and uh, hopefully that one will be a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Horrible. <laughs>